friends and family oh yeah so I'm down here in Corona California I am down here for Freedom Breeder we're going to do a video on how they make some of their tubs like the big tubs apparently it's gonna be this huge giant machine I'm gonna get some nice cinematic shots of it so you guys can see it also gonna go check out my buddy Anthony from granddaddy herps who uh, I've been a long-time friend of the channel actually the very first guy to ever comment on my very first YouTube video and we're gonna check out his snakes and that's that's the day you guys excited to come with me I'm excited to take you with me I maybe had a little too much coffee This is the mold right here that's going to be put into a giant machine. This mold right here weighs about 150,000, no that's not, 35,000 pounds, something like that. It's solid steel and you can see, you can see the mold for the tub. That's one of those big white 66-4 tubs, one of the big white tubs that pulls out. And uh, what the guys are going to do, they're going to come over here, pull this thing up, place it in that giant machine back there that weighs like 150,000 pounds and then get it ready for injection molding. So I'm gonna grab the drone and fly in this place and hopefully not crash it. And it should be pretty, uh, should be pretty cool. <laughs> They're about to lift the other mold that's in the machine right now out so that we can put the Freedom Breeder mold in. Kind of crazy to see how much work goes into this. This is some large machinery all for one. I mean, it's a big tub, but it's still like the size of the tub compared to the size of the machine that needs to be used to build it is uh, intense. So they're throwing that big brick on the back of the forklift right now because that mold piece is so heavy that it's lifting up the back of the forklift when they try to lift it out of there. So they're waiting down the back so that that back end doesn't fly up. It's pretty intense. There was a day many, many years ago when I, I used to work in environments like this. It's been a long time. Uh, just trying to make sure I stay safe. Flying the drone in here is definitely high. I have to be on it. Got to be on it. Just to make sure to keep myself safe and the guy safe and be paying attention to everything that's happening around me. And get the shots, but also not get anybody hurt or killed. So if that mold fell on you, you would be toast. the size of this mold right here that was in the machine already and it's uh it's pretty big it was heavy it weighed down that forklift but th this one the one for the freedom breeder tubs is even bigger it's like twice the size so i don't even know if they might have to use the bigger forklift to get it maybe I i'm not sure we'll see So they're trying to get a bigger truck because that truck's not going to work. It keeps lifting up off the back and it's just not going to be safe and they don't have the bigger truck available right now. So I just came back to the hotel room to chill out and I think while I'm here, I haven't done a Cusco cut in a while so I'm, I'm going to do one of those. But I'm going to put it at the end of the video. So I'm, I'm going to film it now but I'll, I'll put it at the end after we go see Anthony's snakes and after we figure out this mold situation. Sound good? So unfortunately, they're not getting a truck today, so there's, there's nothing else I can do down there for the rest of the day. Fortunately, it happens to be about 80 degrees in Southern California right now, which is crazy for March, I think. Maybe it's not, but either way. <laughs>
lot of folks you up north now are just like, all right, Brian, that's enough of that. <laughs> to be fair, that, that freeway noise back there, it's not all that relaxing, so. <sighs> I am white. I think it's about time to stop messing around and go to Anthony's place, though. Let's go. Here. There's the man himself. What's up, dude, guys? Dude, I was on my way here. I was driving through these like track homes areas uh -huh. and like in the distance I saw the hills and it looked like like some orange dirt like in Hawaii. I was like, uh -huh. I was like, what do they do? Like they cut away some of the hill looks all orange and I get closer and I was like, what is that? I pull off the side of the road, I grabbed the drone uh -huh. and flew out that way and it's like all those poppies. Uh -huh. Like I was normal. Big time. Dude, yep. this is, this is, yeah. you guys see that? Yep. The poppies are yeah. popping like this snake right here. <laughs> So pastel yellow belly, possible hit for puzzle. She uh, was bred from a uh, super pastel yellow belly to a bumblebee, and the super pastel yellow belly was a 100% hit puzzle. So I tried going the long route, uh, and hopefully scoring some female hits to pos hits to hold back. And I got lucky so far. It's it's five females, and one uh, up in the air, leaning towards male, but. She's really neat. She's got a teardrop on the right side of her eye. And she's got some really nice yellow belly patterns going on. <laughs> we got the kids. What's up, crazy? Say hi. No, you're being shy? What's going on? What? What? So what? To you. <laughs> Lately, she's been doing what, it. She can't get what, out the words. What? 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 Look, the old pool. Oh yeah. You went in the old pool? Yeah. Oh, you went in the swimming pool? Uh, uh, come here. I went in the old pool today too. Yes, come here. Yeah, sure. <laughs> she wants to show you the pool. What? Oh, it's got all flat, huh? That pool looks like it. it looks like you had your way with that pool. <laughs> yeah, she was in the pool, and the tortoise was in here, and it's. Crate. That's so. that's that's usually what the toilet looks like when I get done with it. <laughs> Me every morning, <laughs> without fail. <clears throat> I got this at the uh, not the last Pomona show, but the one before that. These things are never-ending pits. <laughs> yeah, because they're vegetarian, right? They gotta oh, yeah. consume, consume, yeah. like an elephant. What's the purpose of that lens? Is it like a wide? It is wide. Yeah, yeah it, is, it is wide. The, the 16 to 35 is the one I was using before, but it's uh -huh. like. I just wanted to try this out because it's a little bit wider. It's 11 to 24, so you can get... Nice. It's almost like fisheye, but... Yeah. Um, That's super cool. Yeah, of course, I, so I don't have... first macro lens. I'm excited. Oh, dude, yeah. we're going to shoot some yeah. snakes with that today with, yeah. the, with the macro lens. For macro sure. lens is where it's at. Um, real quick, if you want to see... Um, so, I kind of had bad luck with the last clutch I had. It was... Um, it, it had to be incubation, but um, she's good. She's a little pastel real real small pastel head desert ghost like i had to assist feed her i mean she's so small but she's doing good she's drinking everything normal she's just kind of a little ditzy it's kind of funny and sometimes those snakes that require a little extra special yeah, care end up yeah. being extra special yeah all together are you special <laughs> In the egg, she looked like she was a pastel desert ghost. She was just glowing. Yeah, I saw when you were picking up that desert ghost stuff. That's pretty stoked, man. Yeah. Desert ghost is nice. Yeah. So you, if you had to pick one favorite snake here. Uh-huh. Yeah. So um, I'm a ball python lover, but at heart, if you take it back to my childhood, my very, very first snake ever, was actually um, just your standard. Hold on, before we tell you what we're gonna show you, we're actually gonna shoot a whole Triple B TV episode here right, right now with Anthony of Snakes with Friends. We haven't done Snakes with Friends in a long time. We're gonna shoot one of those and you guys will get to see that snake on that Triple B TV episode. Make sure you go subscribe to Triple B TV. You'll see that episode and uh, yeah, it'll be good. I promise you guys a uh, cuss going cut, so here you go. So it's been a while since we did one of these things. I, I like to do them from time to time. It's been a while, I guess. But it lets me uh, have a moment on an edited video, a little section that I that I don't edit, and you just kind of get to see me messing up without getting to cut to whatever and just speak. 
But the thing I wanted to talk about is just how, how fortunate I feel to be where I'm at right now and doing what I, what I want to do, going around, traveling around, making videos. And this is what I was working towards for a long time was to be able to do this. And now I'm doing it and I'm pretty excited about it. And it is a balance because at the same time, while I'm out here traveling around, I'm, I'm missing the family. I've, I haven't been gone 24 hours yet and I'm already like, I just want to grab them and, and snuggle them. When I was laying in this bed last night, I was like, I just wished I could reach out and grab one of the kids and, and hold them. And that part sometimes hurts right in here, but absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? That's, that's a thing. And it's true, I think. I do enjoy getting out here, traveling around and, and, and shooting stuff. Again, to go see Anthony and I'm gonna go, go see Miguel tomorrow and shoot some video over there. And it's great, it's fantastic. And it really does fulfill a part of my soul. And there, there's, there's Hillary. Cusco Cut, you're on. Hello. Or Cusco Uncut, that is. How you doing? Okay, okay so... <laughs> she didn't even flinch. Just, can, I, can I call you right back? Oh, yeah, I just got it on the snake room. Okay, I'll call you right back. Okay, sorry. So, yeah. Soul fulfilled, family missed, heart is full, things are good. I, I'm, I'm feeling good about it. I just want to do a Cusco Uncut about that. I was just feeling it, so there it is. There were a couple of heads popping out of the old clutch we had sitting over there, and this was the clutch.